<laughs> How many are, people are you anticipating coming? Uh, probably about nine or ten. Yeah. You been to a game before? Uh, down there? Yeah. I haven't. Mm. Mm -mm. Should be fun though on national television too, right? Oh yeah, I'm excited. For games like this, it's always super excited. That's why I'm excited for this team. I'm going to stop saying excited soon. But uh, <laughs> I'm excited for this team because when I look around the locker room, Everybody else is also excited, and that's what makes me excited. What have you seen to on tape that you guys have kind of dialed in in terms of their defensive line and what you guys have to deal with? Oh, yeah, I don't really uh, talk about things, so I don't want them to change anything. Just keep doing what you're doing. You know, we, we've been watching. Last year, you guys had your issues on the road. Are you confident this year that you've kind of resolved all of those things? Oh, definitely. We've um, learned a lot from our, our previous mistakes, and... Try to learn from them and do things in the off season and now even more so to prevent that. So I think I'm confident, excited. How'd you feel about the running game? game <laughs> the running game in game one, um, what was it, 267? Uh, we have some really great backs and I'm excited for them to get loose. And I just want to continue that and continue letting them get loose and continue having over 200 yards. And so that's something we like as an offensive line, we try to pride ourselves on and make sure we can continually do that's kind of like our little mark right there let's yeah, let's try to get 200 so that's our thing in particular i wanted to ask you about x what do you, what are some of his qualities of running back that you really like from what you've seen he has a lot of qualities um one his his cuts extremely quick like really quick um he hits his hole fast and even aside from the physical attributes he's a great leader he know even though he's doesn't seem like a you know, extroverted talker, he can get guys going. And I like that a lot about him. He's a serious, he's a serious player. You know what the X stands for? He's saving. <laughs> two for two so far. You guys working on a silent count this week just in case? Oh yeah, we've always, we've been working on one just periodically since, since last year. So uh, yeah, we've always just had one just in case. What's your comfortability with it now that you've been working on it for so long? Do you feel more comfortable heading into this week? Well, I'm the tap guy, so. It's, I kind of like it because I know when the ball is going to snap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does this game, this atmosphere remind you at all of Michigan State a couple of years ago? Um, I think the bigger the atmosphere, kind of the more exciting of it. Like, you want to play in games like this. You don't want to play in empty stadiums. Like, who wants to do that? So, I think, I'm not going to say it reminds me of that because I'm not there yet. So, I don't know. But um, <laughs> uh, it might. <laughs> Since you've been here, there have been a string of running backs, Eno, Rashad, uh, Daniel, now X, uh, hopefully Tevin White. Is that something that offensive line takes pride in, that it just seems like the school produces good running backs like that? Most definitely, and I'm not even going to like be like, oh, yeah, we make those guys good, because those guys are special. And it's been a pride getting to play with those guys, um, guys like Eno, because quite honestly, I don't know how good of a run blocker I was doing for Eno when I was a freshman. Like, he probably was pissed at me sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's been good having those guys. Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> he probably, he'd probably much rather have me now than he did then. Yeah. LD, in addition, just seeing your progress from that freshman year and after this first game, seeing a bunch of the offensive line draft analysts breaking down your game, some of the clips from NAU, how rewarding is that? Um, to just kind of see that national attention? Um, it's something that's really cool to see because as a lineman, you don't really get attention ever. But at the same time, it's something you kind of have to, like, black out quickly. Like, yeah, I did some nice things next game. You know what I mean? So I don't really like to sit at the table and eat dessert too long and then, you know, forget you have to eat again, you know? So You got a pancake tracker for last game? Oh, you know... I try to I have a goal for the season, so I try to just, you know, count them up and try to see if I hit my goal at the end. I feel like that's not selfish of me, like, to chase pancakes. It's helping, you know, helping the team. So. How many did you reckon you had last game? Well, last year, my goal was 50 knockdowns. And it was kind of like I started off, like, let's do something unrealistic to kind of just have something to start for. Then I got it. <laughs> and then I uh, granted like 10 of those are like in Southern Utah. But, uh, uh, it was like, now, so I put a bigger number for this season, okay. but I won't tell you what it is. All right. So. What's, what's the go-to dessert? Um, I'm a, I, 
Well, I try to stay away from it, but hey. Okay, Bluebell got this new ice cream that just came out. <laughs> it's the uh, oatmeal cream pie ice cream. It's good. <laughs> That's how you know it's good. Yeah, you know, I, I don't. I only had it like once. So. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, 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 Than